Sherlock Holmes, the quintessential and classical crime-solving badass. Created by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle in the late 1800s, Sherlock Holmes is the go-to character for cool mysteries, keen observation, and the science of deduction. He's the kind of character who can look at your clothes and know exactly who you are, where you've been, and what your intentions may be. Since his creation, the character Sherlock Holmes has enjoyed many different film adaptations, but arguably his most popular portrayal was by the late, great Basil Rathbone. More recently, he regained his popularity in the 21st century with his portrayal by Robert Downey Jr., which is a really fun film. That one, not so much. And even more popular by the BBC television series, Sherlock, which puts Sherlock Holmes in a more modern setting, and he's portrayed by the most incredibly awesome actor ever, Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I'm gonna love him as Doctor Strange. Now, all these adaptations are all well and good, but they mainly focus on Sherlock Holmes in his prime, his younger years, his adventure crime-solving years. But what about a story that takes place after all that? What if there was a story that took place in Sherlock Holmes' later years, his golden years to be exact? And what if the mystery he was solving was probably the greatest mystery of all? His own memory. Well, you get Mr. Holmes. This is a truly remarkable and truly entertaining film. It proves once and for all that you don't need a villain to tell a compelling story. You just need conflict. And there is plenty of that here. Now, this film actually has three different plots going on at the same time, but because the trailer didn't spoil either of them, I'm not going to do that here. Rather, I'm going to talk about the main plot point that was given in the trailer. The main plot point centers around Sherlock Holmes spending his golden years up in a farmhouse taking care of bees. He quickly befriends a young boy who seems to have a keen intellect and has taken a deep interest in Sherlock Holmes. More specifically, he's taking a deep interest in the story that Sherlock Holmes is writing. See, Mr. Holmes is trying to recall his last mystery, but because of his old age, his memory is starting to fade away. So he's trying everything he can to remember his last mystery before he completely forgets it, all the while making a deep, lasting friendship with the young boy. When you have a movie that focuses mainly on character development, you need really good actors in order to keep the audience engaged. And they got plenty of those in this film. Sir Ian McKellen has the great honor of portraying the great Sherlock Holmes, and he is just a joy to watch. But the main thing that keeps the audience engaged are the two other plot points that come and go throughout the entire story. The mystery-style storytelling is a perfect fit for this kind of character. I especially love all the small moments throughout the movie where Sherlock Holmes is asked to do the thing. The thing being him looking at your clothes and telling you exactly where you've been, who you are, and what you intend to do. Now, of course, you can't just have good acting for this kind of story. You need good everything else. Good cinematography, good makeup, good direction, and so on. And of course, needless to say, this film has good all around. But the cinematography is absolutely gorgeous, the makeup is astonishing, and the direction is fluid, cohesive, and... amazing. I was initially nervous at their choice of director, Mr. Bill Condon, who previously helmed the film Kinsey, which is also a good film, but he also previously helmed Dreamgirls and the last two Twilight movies. Not really a good sign. Fortunately, it turns out this kind of stuff is right up his alley. This is one of those rare movies where the main reason you like it is because you like the characters. And you almost don't think that's going to happen at first. When you first meet Sherlock Holmes in this movie, he's bitter, angry, condescending, and, well, frustrating to deal with. But then again, if you were as smart as he was at his age, wouldn't you be more or less the same way? I guess this film is mainly aimed at older audiences, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it myself, and I strongly suspect that younger audiences will also enjoy it, especially younger audiences who are learning to be better filmmakers, and younger audiences who love Ian McKellen from Lord of the Rings, and X-Men. I highly recommend you check out this film. And I also highly recommend you check it out soon, because it only has a limited screening. And, depending on how well it does in the box office, it may not be around for very long. So please, while it's still playing, go see it. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Norman. Thank you for watching.